Snipes here from Team Epiphany, and this is another uh, quick tutorial on how to create your own custom YouTube background. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube about this, and not a lot of them really explain it that well. And uh, I've got a couple good techniques that you guys can use. So uh, first of all, you're going to need to download uh, this uh, PSD file if you're using Photoshop. If you're not using Photoshop, you can use other uh, editing programs. I mean, it really doesn't matter. This is more of a Photoshop tutorial, though, because it does make it a lot easier. Um, but anyway, again, you can uh, get this download in the description below. So uh, I have up here Photoshop. Here's the template, as you can see. Um, it's got your uh, banner and your video and then your videos, comments, all that. So uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is create a folder. You don't have to do this, but I like to get all my pictures and whatnot from the web that I want to use for my uh, background. So I've named this my Epic YouTube Background Folder. Um, so first off, we're going to start here with our background. Um, now, as you can see here, there are uh, boxes uh, that are vector masked in the corners. So you can edit the boxes and not edit the rest of the background. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that, where uh, certain boxes are different pictures and whatnot. Uh, again, guys, if you don't have Photoshop, you can do this as well just by being very careful and not going outside the lines. But first of all, what you're going to want to do for the background is I've already started it here, but you're going to want to make a new layer. And then you're going to want to make it a clipping mask for each and every one of these layers. Uh, you don't really have to do this for the background, guys, but I just like to do it to keep everything organized. So for my background here, I had got a kind of cool sunburst uh, picture that I thought I could incorporate into it. So I'm going to drag this over here into Photoshop. And uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it from the second thing here. So just Command A to get it all. And then I'm going to paste it right back in here on the background. So as you can see, it's kind of small. Again, guys, when you're looking for your pictures, I recommend that in uh, Google Images, you click the large button because uh, YouTube backgrounds are fairly large. So uh, you're going to want larger pictures. So as you can see here, it's probably going to work uh, out. Uh, again, guys, you're not going to be using all of this. So when you actually have it up uploaded onto YouTube, uh, if you're doing text or anything like that, make sure that you don't put it down too low or off to the side too much because uh, you'll notice that in uh, YouTube, you're fairly close to the actual uh, image. So here it is. Uh, not looking too bad, uh, but I'm going to do some stuff to it to make it like a little cooler. So I'm going to open up here and uh, put on a nice, let's say, let's try color overlay. That's not going to work. Um... First one I'm going to do, I forgot to do that first, is go to my gradient tool. And again, guys, on uh, YouTube, as you'll notice, when you kind of get down to the bottom, uh, it's different. It varies for every YouTube channel. If you have a ton of YouTube comments, um, if you don't have a lot of YouTube comments, uh, it's all going to vary on how much, uh, you know, how long your YouTube channel actually goes down. So you're going to want to kind of make a gradient. That's what I like to do. Uh, so you can have a, a nice kind of, you know, gradient down to the bottom of your YouTube channel. Uh, normally go from, uh, you know, uh, a bright color to black, uh, any color really to black, uh, makes it look a lot nicer. Um, so I'm going to go and put this over here, just underneath it. I don't know if I did that the right way. Oops, wrong way. So let's do it this way. There we go. So that looks kind of cool. So once I have that here, I'm going to go and make another layer. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate the layer. And then there's going to be a clipping mask for this one. And then I'm going to go back here get my background, which I like a lot, and then just paste it over here. And again, I'm going to have to do the whole transform thing. Uh, you can hold shift, guys, if you don't want it to uh, get out of proportion. But uh, again, for this, it's a pretty large image, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue, especially because I'm going to be making it an overlay. So I'm going to go here to blending options. Um, I'm going to go to, let's try overlay. See how that looks? So that looks kind of cool. Um, as you notice with Team Epiphany, guys, we like the kind of blue and white. So uh, I'm actually kind of fairly happy with this. Um, again, if you want to add some more custom stuff to uh, your background, this is more of a, you know, I, I want to keep this tutorial going quicker. But uh, let's just say I go up here and uh, add something cool from my large selection of paintbrushes. Um, let's go with this thing. I don't know what it is, but it looks kind of cool. So let's kind of match it up with the color. Let's go with the... Maybe, oh, maybe a white. That would look kind of cool. So just kind of, again, it's going to be overlaid, so you're not going to get a real effect. But, you know, you can mess around with it, make it a little abstract um, if you want. Again, it's all up to you. It's your YouTube channel. So anyway, let's just say that's our epic YouTube background. Um, 
Now we're going to want to go here and do all of our uh, boxes. So here for our video box, um, we're going to go, or actually, better yet, let's go down to our uh, channel comments box, because um, that's the next one up here. We're going to go here and we're going to create a new layer. So let's make a new layer. And we're going to make this a clipping mask for this one. So if we go down here to create clipping mask, that means anything I put in here is just going to go over it and we're not going to have any issues with uh, actually, you know, Making it. So this is actually white, so I have to turn this to another color. Um, so let's go here to back to our epic background folder. Um, let's find a cool kind of Spartan that we want to put in there. Uh, I kind of like this guy. I have a flame thing there too. Let's put this guy in there. Um, so we're just gonna drag it into here. Again, guys, I got kind of um, uh, basically rendered uh, images, so uh, they already come pre-rendered. Uh, again, you can get these on Google Images, um, so you just click Command A, copy, and when you paste it in there, it will uh, paste it just on its own like that. So uh, I'm just going to drag it here, and actually, I'm going to delete this layer and make this the clipping mask, so there we go. So now it's just kind of stuck in here, as you can see, uh, make it look kind of cool. Uh, put it back here, you know, wherever you want it. Again, guys, I'm just going to go through this uh, quicker so uh, we can kind of get through this. But, um, you know, mess around with it. Let's make a, another gradient. Why not? Let's make it pink to black because we're cool like that. So there. And then, uh, again, if you're ever doing, like, over overlaid stuff, uh, like a background here, um, I should have done uh, the Spartan over this, but I did it the opposite way around. So if I just, you know, hit the Spartan again, uh, create this... A clipping mask, you're basically just putting layer over layer, and then we'll put the Spartan down here. And why not just go to blending options real quick and just change it up a bit? Uh, maybe darken it, maybe that looks kind of cool. I don't know, whatever you guys like. Again, it's all personal preference. So, uh, once we've gone through here and we kind of like our boxes, um, we'll go up, you know, let's go to our video box. So, the video box is going to be taken up by the video, but you'll notice with a lot of people, their boxes are kind of like they've got an outlined layer on them. So uh, what we're going to want to do is go down to all of these. And uh, so let's say, let's start with our comments. We're going to go here and we're going to go to layer properties and, oh, whoops, not layer properties. We're going to go to blending options. And once that opens up here, you're going to want to go down to stroke and we're going to make the size bigger. So uh, you can change the color. Let's go, let's make it cool. Let's make it orange. Why not? Let's go down here, get like a nice orange going here. There we go. And then we're just going to want to go to all of these and do the same thing. Go to blending options, head down to stroke, make the size go up a little bit, you know, match the size if you want. You can make it go really big. You can do something cool. Again, it's all personal preference, really. It's your YouTube background. But uh, let's go here. Uh, if you're doing this properly, you might want to, you know, copy the exact same color so it looks real nice. But uh, I'm just going to be doing this for now so you kind of get the idea of it. Um, so I'm going to go up here to video description, again guys, blending options, um, and if you know Photoshop, you can uh, easily just copy and paste all these so it will work the same, but this is just, you know, make it easier on yourself. Um, head down here to stroke again, let's make the size bigger, oh, that's too big, you don't want to fill it all out, that looks kind of cool, why not. Get down here to color, and we'll change it to a nice orange so there we go so I'm gonna just kind of stop here and uh, just do a couple last minute things just to show you guys uh, what else you can do uh, so here for the background I'm gonna create another layer uh, to go on top of this so I'm gonna go here um, I'm gonna go layer new layer and then we're gonna go here and go to our whoops gonna go to clear create clipping mask again you don't really need this for the background it's more for these things but It'll look cool. Um, and again, this is going to be kind of, you know, crunched for time, so I'm going to have to just go through this. So let's just consider this our epic YouTube background, but we need a text layer first. So we have to get this layer going. There we are. All right, so let's put our name here. Let's do Team Epiphany. And we're going to go and copy this. Highlight it. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's make it... 60. No, that's not going to work. 600. That's too big. Let's just make it 200. There we go. And then we're just going to hit Command-T. And once I'm out of it, we're going to hit Command-T. 
and then we can just rotate it around here. Uh, I know a lot of you guys see the uh, YouTube channels that have the thing here. Uh, I'm just going to do this really quickly because we have to get to the second part of this tutorial. So uh, let's put it up here. Team Epiphany. There we go. It's on the side there. This is our epic YouTube background. We're going to go and we're going to save it um, up here. We're going to save it as a... Uh, I like to do JPEG because those seem to work better because there is a size issue with YouTube. Um, so I'm going to go here and click JPEG. Uh, I'm going to save it on my desktop and let's just save it as epic. So we'll click here, save. Uh, quality, you can do about this. Maximum's fine. Again, you can alter this in case it's too big, but uh, this should be good for this because it's not that much stuff in it. So we're going to head on here to Google Chrome and uh, open this up and go to YouTube. So once we have it up here, let's go to YouTube, and I think I'll just do it on our regular Team Epiphany channel, just because it's already open. So if we go here to my channel, you can go and click on here, up here. I know a lot of you guys might have seen this before, themes and colors, but this is a big one. Uh, we're going to go and create a new theme. Uh, let's call it our epic just epic. Everything's epic. So we're going to go down here. We're going to delete the background image. Choose a file. Uh, go down here to epic and open that up. Now I have already, I sorry, I already have all the settings uh, kind of configured for this. So uh, it's going to look, you know, pretty good already. Um, but what you're going to have to do is if this is, you know, your first time putting it here. Again, see how you can see down here the we go a little lower. So uh, we've got more, you know, sponsors and friends. Uh, for your YouTube channel, I you know it, it all depends if it, if you do have it like this you can just make this you know drop it down just click you know command t size it again it's all personal preference um but for most people this should be good because it would be about here and you get that kind of effect and as you can see here it, it does zoom in a lot so that's why you have to make sure that you don't put anything out here and if i was going to redo this i'd probably find a larger image but let's head on up to here uh one thing you want to do is make sure that your wrapper transparency is 100 percent. make sure that your transparency is 100 percent. that's two really big ones and then uh, once you're done there, you can uh, change all the colors and whatnot. So, you know, your wrapper color, you want to make it all look, uh, you know, make it look like it's your background. So, you know, let's make this like an orange, uh, kind of fits in with it, uh, with the orange. And you just want to go around here and change everything. And again, it's all personal preference. So make it look real nice. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. And uh, I'll probably be making more tutorials like this. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you uh, like these tutorials more as opposed to, uh, you know, the tutorials at more advanced stuff like Cinema 4D and whatnot. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.